Hello, all back again. This time I'm going to show you how to set up Open Media Vault so you can turn any uh, USB hard drive into a network hard drive for storage for, say, like your, mov uh, your movies and your music. So, first things first, you want to Google or Bing Open Media Vault, which will take you to this website. Uh, up the top, you've got Download, so you will click there. And on the top row here, you've got the installation images can be found here, so we'll, we'll click there. It's got other images you can download for other hardware, but we want the Raspberry Pi. This can be used on uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 and 2. So I'll just click download. And you want the top one, which is 3051. I've already got it downloaded, so uh, I can just close that. So I just go into my downloads and I unzip it. I use 7-zip, which is free. So I just want to extract two, which uh, won't take too long. And uh, inside that folder will be the image we want to use. Nearly done. Yep, all done. And inside we have the image. Uh, to copy images to SD cards, I use Image USB Image Tool. I'll put a link to all the software in the description. So we just start that up. So we want to click Favorites and Add. I suppose I could drag and drop. I'll go into Downloads and that's the image there. So that is Drive G, which is my SD card. And that's the uh, Open Media Vault image. So, and I'll click there and you'll find you'll get restore come up. That's the only odd thing about this software. You have to click on the left, then click on the image, and then you'll get the restore button come up in the middle. Because then you click that and it will uh, write to the SD card. Just close that down because we don't need it. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to write the image. Maybe about a minute, minute or so. So the thing I'll do, I'll most probably fast forward through this bit if it takes too long. Right, that's all done now. So uh, now you can plug in the SD card into your Pi and plus connect your drive. I'm using a Seagate expansion drive, which is a USB, around about five terabytes. So once you've got that all plugged in, you can uh, turn the Pi on and we go on to the uh, next step. Right, that's all done. You've turned on the Pi for the first time. Just give it a few seconds to load. And the thing you want to do now is log into the Pi and you do that via its IP address. And the uh, easiest way to find it is by logging into your router and you should see the Raspberry Pi listed. So just dot down the IP address and then start up Google Chrome and type in the address or as I'm gonna do, paste it. Give it a few seconds and you'll get the uh, login page. So you change the language if needed. Username is admin and the password is open media vault in lowercase and just click login. Give it a few seconds to load. It doesn't take too long. So the first thing you want to do now is mount the drive. So on the left hand side here, you'll see storage. And just below that, you'll see file systems. So click that. Right, now it's showing the folders and the drives listed. The drive I want is the Seagate expansion. And as you can see, if you look there mounted, it's saying no. So highlight it by clicking on it and then click mount at the top there. Give it a few seconds. And then you get this bar pop up and just click apply, then yes. And as you can see, now it's mounted. The thing we want to do now is either create a new folder on that drive or you can mount an existing folder. I've got my movies already on that drive. So on the left hand side again, I'll just scroll down a bit. You will see access rights management and shared folders. So click on shared folders. And just below the top tabs, you will see add. So click add. You can give it a name. 
so I'm going to call it movies. And devices, on the right hand side you've got a drop down, so just click the arrow. And if you've done the first bit right, you should see uh, your drive, and mine is the Seagate expansion. The thing I want to do, if you click on the right, it will show you listed drives on your network. So mine is movies, so I want to highlight that and click OK. And under permissions, I want to change that to everyone. So that way I don't have to uh, give a login password to anyone on my network. I trust If you trust them all, it's the best way to do it, it's easier. Then just click save. Give it a few seconds, that's done. And now we want to set up the uh, Samba share. So on the left hand side again, you will now, uh, you've got uh, services. And just below that you've got SMB, which is Samba, stroke CIFS. So you click that. And in general settings, the only thing you need to change is enable. So you turn it on just by clicking on the right. And then click save at the top there. Just give it a few seconds and then click apply on the right and then yes. Doesn't take too long to do. And now next to settings you've got shares. So click that tab and then add, it's enabled and now you've got shared folder in the drop down on the right just click the arrow, you should see that folder there so I've got movies on my Seagate, just click there it gets loaded in, uh, you can leave a uh, comment public on the right hand side in the drop down I've got guests, I'm going to select guests allowed so anyone can use it on my network and then just click save and then apply on the top right and then yes And that's all done. The thing is, uh, sometimes the folder won't show up unless you do a, a reboot of your router or your Windows PC, because sometimes they won't show up. But normally they will, so I'll just go and test. So I'll go into my network. Click on network. I've got my Raspberry Pi. Click on there. And there it is, movies. And there's all my uh, movies listed. I'll uh, just test one. Oh, what should we have? I will have the, uh, that one. There we go. And that's a movie playing. Just turn down the volume. Scrolling through. I'll just test a different one. It's pretty fast on a Raspberry Pi 3. Scrolling through it. So now that drive will can uh, be accessed on say uh, an iPad, your phone or any other network connected devices. So as always, I hope this video has helped. And uh, goodbye.